at 11, devastation at the Daytona 500. Indiana native Ryan Newman is injured after a terrible crash. Thanks for joining us here at 11. I'm Mark Mullins. And I'm Amanda Starantino. We got an important update from NASCAR in the last hour. Newman is seriously hurt, but expected to survive. We want to get right to the RTV6 Sports Director Dave first with the latest Dave. Guys, thanks. Good evening. There's no doubt that there have been safety improvements in motorsports every year, a tweak here or there to avoid catastrophe inside the driver's cockpit. But at its heart, motorsports isn't truly safe. And another example of that tonight at the famed Daytona International Speedway. The accident came on the final lap of the Daytona 500. South Bend's Ryan Newman looked poised to win a second 500 when he gets bumped from behind by Ryan Blaney. That was Newman's car. It takes a hard right into the safer barrier there by the track's tri-oval. Diddy Hamlin went on to win the race while Newman went on a wild ride, which included getting hit by the driver's side by Corey LaJoy. Another replay here. Newman Newman's car came to rest upside down. Track workers eventually made it to his car where he was placed on a stretcher and taken directly to Halifax Medical Center, which is located really not too far away from the track. A statement from NASCAR late tonight saying that Ryan it was in serious condition but suffered what it describes as non-life-threatening injuries. Great news and somewhat remarkable, really, given the circumstances. Denny Hamlin, after the race with our friends at ESPN. Ryan uh, is a guy that's been in the sport a really long time. We worked so well together. That's really how we got the lead was working with Ryan. Um, Talladega uh, with this package last year, uh, we linked up on the final lap uh, and nearly got him, you know, pushed him to a victory there. But obviously, you know, no matter what, you know, it, it, he takes precedence over everything going on right now. Now, Ryan certainly knows his way around the state of Indiana. Grew up in South Bend, drove quarter midgets, inducted into their Hall of Fame. First and only driver to win Rookie of the Year honors in all three national USAC divisions. Sprints, Silver Crowns, midgets. The Purdue grad went on to win the 2013 Brickyard 400. His then wife, Chrissy, there. They have two children, Brooklyn and Ashland. The 42-year-old driving in his 21st season in NASCAR Cup racing. I was texting with various friends in NASCAR mm -hmm. at the track, and they all mentioned how eerily silent the garage was right after this accident. And that is the worst sound you could hear, if you want to call mm -hmm. it that, after. Because no one knows quite sure really what's happening. Mm -hmm. This could have gone so much worse. Thank goodness, if you will, it's only serious condition. Uh, and I mean, watching the video, it just is uh, unbelievable. It's, it's, it, they, these guys spend so many mi millions of dollars goes into safety each and every year. But let's face it, motorsports at its heart is not a safe sport. Well, our prayers and thoughts are with him and his family. Absolutely. And hopefully a good recovery. Yep. All right. Thank you, Dave. Yep. Yeah, we are rooting for a speedy recovery there. Thanks, guys.